Hi again, uh, it's me, the Ugly Video Game Nerd. Uh, trying something a little differently. Um, this time I'm trying to eat a different uh, camera scene, uh, black and white. Try out my DS. My DS has been um, pretty good for video shooting, uh, believe it or not. Or my 3DS, excuse me. And I might do a video of a game I just got today. Uh, very excited to have. Uh, it's called Toy Commander. And um, today I'm going to show it off to you. I just got to switch off for a sec. And um, switch it to the outer mode. And let you guys get a little tap. A uh, little dip into a uh, great Dreamcast game. It came out in 99. Oh, Toy Commander. Um, to me, it held a very high value in gameplay. Hard as fucking hell. I just spent oh, a good couple hours unlocking everything. It took me years to do this, people. Years to finally do, you know, be fast like this. But back when I was a kid, when I originally had this game, I couldn't do this this quickly. It took me months and months. But um, as years went by, I... Lost it, misplaced it, whatever happened. You know, I did a lot of moving and such. But I finally got it again. Key in the mail from uh, Goodwill out in Southern California. Well, I'd give a shout out to you guys. Um, sorry, if they don't have the exact location, but it's uh, a Goodwill store out in Southern Cal. Run some Amazon, great people, send me a great disc. Uh, my only complaint was there was a crack on the jewel case, but. That can always be replaced at Dollar Store, guys, so for 16 bucks for getting a gem in my collection, thank you. Thank you very much. I was very, very happy to get it. Here to, uh, here I am, uh, the ugly video game nerd with Toy Commander. Great little game for the, uh, Sega Dreamcast. Um, I just recently obtained from Goodwill in California. Southern California, off of Amazon. Love it. There's the main boss, and there's the bosses right there. But, let's get to it. Oh, uh, let's get to some gameplay. Fit just the camera here. And, uh, basically it's saying, Hey Andy, a time has come. The toys are overcoming you. They want mutiny. They want to be claimed, the teddy bear wants to be claimed as the Toy Commander. Kind of reminiscent of Toy Story 3, huh? But this game came out in 1999. There's Andy right there. You got the one player, multiplayer, options via me menu. The multiplayer is fantastic for this game. fan fucking -tastic. I had a lot of fun matches back in the day. Um, you could play up to four players, four players split, split screen with your, choose your different vehicles. Um, there's over 35 different vehicles in the game and in multiplayer with four diff three different modes. But let's get to the uh, one player mode. This is your kitchen, dining room, cellar, living room, greenhouse, attic, garage, two room, parents' bedroom, hallway, mezzanine, children's bedrooms. And the kitchen, dining room is your beginning level. Uh, that's where you start off. You got the uh, training level here. A lot of fun. And then you eventually get to the main boss of the level, Cyclone. I'll show him very quickly here. And we'll show some more levels. You get a little introduction for each level, what you have to do for the mission. I'll start off with... Jeez, this game is a lot of fun because it brings out the old toys. You're playing as a tank. Um, you know, I would say this is 90s and before. Yeah. Yeah, some kids still play with these little toys now, I hope. You know, but now you got your iPad, or your tablets, and your phones and all that. It's just all game, game, game. All data. Nowadays, this is what we used to do as kids. This is how we used to play with our toys. Pretend you're shooting at the big robot. But in this game, he's a boss. Of course, I died there, and they give you a little hate screen. And each level, you have to do it 
within a certain amount of time. You can see 140. I'll show you the training level here. And to give you a little objectives, this one is uh, basically, you can always go to Mission Bring if you, if you forgot. You gotta land the plane on a runway. Then use a helicopter, dump two sugar lumps in a cup, uh, cup of hot cocoa. And restart. It happens a lot. Doesn't give you any damage against, doesn't hurt you or anything, but just good. But you gotta do it within a certain amount of time, you know, each mission. And look at the distinctiveness. Got the litter box. Even got a cat you can shoot at. Guy, kitty. Guy. Oh, looks like my cat Simon. Look at the, the stuff you can explode in. I wish they put a free play mode in this game. Wish they didn't. Things you can blow up and explode. I'm out of missiles right now, but let's go over here. I'll show you. Um, you can ex ever explode a bottle of dish up? I didn't think so. That's the training level here. I'm going to show more levels soon. As we go on, I'm going to go to Bort Mission and be just one second. Here's something I want to show off. Um, the screensaver. Something you don't see in classic games as today. Oh, look at my little angry video game nerd sticker in the background there. It's uh, from the Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures. Uh, out on PC so far, as of now, it will, <coughs> it is February 2014. Um, it has not been released for 3DS, the Wii U, or even the Wii, for that matter, uh, that we know of. But, great game. I've managed to play it on my PC. I love it. I will soon do, be doing a review of it. I want to show off Toy Commander. Uh, here we got a screensaver of Andy. Just floating around doing his thing. Showing off. Looking at the screen. Trying to interact with you. Typing in toy. You know, these are things that uh, I believe started in the uh, SNES Super Nintendo days. Um, little screensavers that you had. Or if you left your game on, this would happen. You get a nice little animation. Pretty cool. Um, something to definitely reminisce there. Um, but, as for the, uh, gameplay, uh, we'll get off to a couple levels, and I'm going to show you, um, <coughs> straight away from the, the, uh, DS, it's not working too properly, uh, I might add, they really can't hold powerful cards, um, like the phones can, even phones have their limits, um, you know, but, Back to the game. Uh, yes, this is Chuck a Muck, um, a fan favorite level for a lot of you people. You might like to see uh, Godzilla dressed up in a bunny costume. Um, something the Dreamcast. What are they doing in here? Something you know Sega like to do is little add-ons for the games. Um, I like to show off little tidbits of. Uh, Little novelties like Chuck here, quote unquote. Look at him. He's got Zona Bunny Castle. Pretty cool. And you get to shoot around as a tank. Look at the detail in this game. It's incredible. 1999, you didn't see any detail like this in games. I mean, when can you drive around and shoot a freaking Godzilla looking monster while you're trying to save a city? Ran out of missiles there. I'll have to go to my helicopter, but you can also destroy the city yourself. Um, see, I'm blowing off the basketball. <coughs> Blow up the basketball for the race sake. Yeah, I can. Oh, and for you kids nowadays, back in '99, this is what a PC looked like. Yeah, right there. 
give you a little front face. See the, we have no wireless mouse. Well, this guy did. Pretty rich. Yeah, you play as Andy. You can see in the uh, screensaver, some little boy. Playing with your toys. Uh, and you're facing off big Godzilla. You gotta kill him. He's ruined your city. You also have a secondary weapon in the game. And you also might shoot up the buildings or something. And that's this is Chuck Mook level. Also, you have your restart, which in the other levels, like the bracing, um, which I'll show you in a second here, and other different missions, it's going to be needed because you're on timed objective. You have so much time to do the mission, you know, which makes this game a very challenging game, but it's a gem. It's a gem in my collection. Uh, I just recently got it from Goodwill, you know, like I said, and I, I love it. I It's always fun to go back to. It took me a few hours to get where I'm at, but it's taken many, many years to do it this fast, uh, to have everything unlocked and such. But it's a fun game. I wish I could sit here. Uh, I, not going to do a Let's Play, but I'll show various videos in time of the game. Um, you'll see little gameplay videos I'll do. You know, I want to start with an introduction to the game, though, at least to show people, hey, this is what it's about. You get a mission briefing. There's your, the mini boss, the boss for the level, Roly Poly. Uh, he's the boss of children's bedroom, and he tells you, hey, he's, here's my pal. He talks to you. The bosses tell you things. You have to see the time limit there, 150, minute 50, you got to beat him. It's a challenge, and it's not fun, but it's not easy, but it's fun, excuse me, it's a, you know, and then the game tells you, show no mercy, get rid of Chuck before he may destroy the whole town, that's your main objective, but of course you have to go within a minute 50 to beat him, thus you unlock the main boss, Roly Poly. And here he is for the children's bedroom level. See, every level is different. Oh, um, you see him chuck them up, how it looked. Yeah, he's not easy. He just wasted being mere seconds. Hence why restart is going to be reused. I'll give you a little showing in the level here, of the boss level. He either interacts with um, certain things in the boss levels. Uh, not everything is interactive. There's a doll from another level. Um, Preferably, Polly hangs out in the girls' area, and the previous chuck em up was the boy level. I'll show you another little one here. Always find little secrets in, in the game, too. What do we have here? Help. Yeah. Let's go. Gotta explore the level, see what you can find. You just face Holy Holy himself. See, this guy has to go for silver rings first. And then, eventually, shoot him in the head. Of course, uh, that's the, rope, the boss for a children's bedroom. I'll show you another quick one. Um, there's a racing level. Show you how they start. I'm not a fan of them. I don't really like, me personally, I don't like the racing levels. Um, the uh, controls are not the greatest for racing in this game, but they're manageable. They have basic elements. You kind of see I just slip real easily in that. But look at the detail. You have an ant farm, you got this cowboy and Indian. There's a level where you face, you, you have to take your truck and save the uh, soldiers. Um, of course, the game is vehicle based. Um, you know, it is a vehicle based game. 
but you still get to play with soldiers. And your soldiers will fight. Um, this one, you have to search for them. See, this is Andy's room here. So you got the basketball net. Actually, no, this is another boy's room. Um, yeah, each level is so distinctive and so big. If I wanted to, I could. Well, I would need a cheat code or find a ramp, I could jump off this and go explore that whole floor. There is no limits in this level here. This whole what you see is, you got the skateboard up there. This level is all about exploration. Um, before we end the video, I'll show you another example of a, how you have to face this Mini boss here, Louis Lemire. Um, see, you got in the mission briefing. Got to retrieve the helicopter from the hangar. And then you have to get your helicopter and you have to shoot the Lemire. But you also can pick up army men. And this is the uh, mini boss for the level, which you get an objective, little certain missions uh, objectives for the mini bosses, which is kind of cool. Uh, full function garage, you see here. And the level is so large, look where I'm going. For me, you could see that was, I could take that truck up there if I wanted to. But, of course, you have to be explorative and see, huh, what hole is it? Not this hole. This hole's going to leave you nowhere. Nice little techno soundtrack you got going on here. You can drop off your army man. Switch a helicopter, but stuck. And that's the Louis Lumiere level. I'll show you another. Uh, here's Buggy Wuggy. He's uh, the main boss for the garage level. He's an RC car. He's a little beast. He's not fun at all. Um, and then you get little treats like this. Your mission. Your mission. The vehicles go underwater. And, as you can see from that Louis Lemire level, look at how different this one is. Still the garage, we still got a totally different environment with different objectives. Of course, you can't... You gotta use a helicopter to really shoot the pirate ships down. Blow up the ship here, blow up the castle. That's one thing, yeah, I'd always be careful. And of course, once you die with each of your, one of your toys, you're done. That's it. <coughs> oh, we gotta get this guy underwater here. I'll wait till it sits there. And nice homing. Homing came with pretty much every uh, vehicle. Which is a nice addition. It it takes a little challenge out, but you know what? It's well worth it because you gotta do things quick in this game, and it really the homie's not 100% accurate. You, can see. you gotta be spot on with it for it to work. And you're just sit, if you sit there, you're done like a duck. But I'll show you another couple levels here. Um, we'll go to report mission. Um, you got the attic. Uh, helicopter hoo-ha. Oh, another fun one with Sega. They throw in Little Big Taxi, huh? I remember, I don't know, Crazy Taxi coming out around the same time. The arcade port come out come out right on the uh, Dreamcast. Great game. Um, I did have one point I actually sold. Uh, 
probably pick it up sometime soon. I'll definitely do a quick little video on that. It was a fun, quick arcade race game, but this is basically Crazy Taxi right here. But a lot more challenging. As you can see, the, how big these levels are and how much you can explore. I wish they put a free play mode in this, Sega. Why did you not put a free play mode in this game? When you come out with a sequel, if you ever do, please put a free play mode in. It would be most enjoyable. This game, it would be a blast in free play mode. Look at all of that. I had trouble with this mission, so I'll show you a more better example of how free play. Um, we'll go straight to this is taking over. This one you gotta basically move your enemy soul your army guys around. There's a little race car, but look at how much level detail there is in this. Shoot around, go wherever you wanna go. But there's always yeah, there's always things holding you back. Um, then you got Pegasus, the uh, final boss in this level here. She's a beast, and she's a bitch. You ever fight a rocking horse? Wow, now you can. And, oh, what do we have here? Looks like a, I think it's Sega Saturn's trying to make play stuff here, or a TV player from back, yeah, uh, yeah, CD players are now back in the day. Look at the detail in the ad. Just, and then you always got little secret add-ons like help up here hiding to help you out. And your main objective is basically to beat this winged horse. The AI is pretty good. It follows you quite a bit. And like that right now, I'm a sitting duck. And I'm dead. But that's the attic level. Uh, I'll show you another fun one. Guys, I did. See, there's the main boss for um, the uh, Mazine level. Yes, yeah, Star Clan. Isn't that awesome? And it makes it look like Star Wars. And look at how big this level is. How much you could fly. How, much you, how many things you could pack. You can shut off the lights if you want. See? Just shut off the lights. You got a little sun, a little gravity guy. You got a basketball supplant. Just the fun you can have just bounce around these levels doing whatever the heck you want if you want to. But of course, to get to them, you have to beat the mission objectives. Look at how well. Wow, look at up here. I'm in a pool table. Isn't that pretty cool? Of course, I just beat one of my my places, and they're Sir Alderox the Eighth. Um, I'll show you a quick one on him before we end the video. He is the main boss for the Azine. You gotta fight off a crazy train, huh? That uh, doesn't remind you of um, some Black Sabbath right there. And here's the boss here for this level. He's Beast, Robot Guy, Robot Dude. Kind of reminds me of Story Story 3, though, uh, with all these different characters and stuff. Of course, Sega couldn't put a Slinky Guy in there, a Slinky Dog or anything, but they put in other toys. You had your army men and five planes and such. Of course, this game is vehicular based. I wish they had a little option where you could walk around as a little Lego guy and just walk around the levels shooting things, GTA style. They'll be cool in Toy Commander 2 if you had that addition. But. This is a boss, and of course I could still shoot 
screwed up twice. Usually boss levels, you didn't get too much level interaction. Um, I could kill these cue balls if I want to, or I can... Actually, I'll show you some really level depth right here. Talk about this. Hey, I just went through the net. Ha! Ah. Of course, uh, in the arcade or bar, um, pool tables, they didn't have that little inside area. They were just open areas or nets. As you can see here, I'm getting stuck in. But, and you could kill these cue ball, uh, these, uh, pool balls. They just explode into pieces. Nice little level interaction, some fun to have while, uh, I'm gonna say, if you want to take a break from the boss, go shoot the pool. And get them in the, in the socket. You know, things you could do. Of course, try to get the balls in the socket if you want to. Or you could just blow on up like I'm doing. It's up to you. Well, almost then. Well, and then, just go back and go ahead tack tackle that boss of yours. Just be careful. And this one, like I said, your sitting ducks do not play like that. You gotta have a little survival in these guys. There's just a Hall of Fame. They had scores and timing. Um, they had a little Hall of Fame mode too for what beat the best time, your best time for that level. Here's some of my best scores. See, I was just pretty quick in what I did. I didn't put GAG. There's the uh, end boss right there, big teddy bear. He's hiding down in the cellar. There's Jim, there's my initials uh, for that one. And of course, um, I'll show you quick. The parents' bedroom is another fun one. Um, 12 mercenaries, blackjack right there. That's the uh, end boss right there. He's showing right here. And of course, the parents' bedroom was in our interactive level. Um, they had a bathroom, of course, in their level, this level. Not too big as the other boss levels, but you still got a lot to deal with. You know, can't let your plane hit the water. There's your mission briefing. You got to beat them. You also got a certain amount of time to beat them, too. Um, he, they also had, every level has a Hall of Fame. And, uh, another fun one I had was Sink and Destroy. I'll show you this level real quick. Um, here we go. Sink and destroy. Of course, he gave you some missing to start off with. Of course, you had to beat the little planes and battleships and stuff. As you can see, I'm doing there. Man, this is a brutal level. Kicks my ass all the fucking time. I'm really not a fan of it. But it's cool to show off the levels. How much detail that goes into it. You see, you got the parents' bedroom. They don't have much. But different levels show more. You know, you got their shoes lying on the ground. Hey, you don't want the lights on? All right. Turn the lights off. And of course, you got the pictures of Andy and his, his sister. Quietly drawn by Andy, of course. 
child's imagination people. And you want faucet to run? Guess what? The faucet's running as I'm getting my harness. Yes, this is not when you want to come in. This is a toughie. And they're shooting me with pencils. Pencils here missing. You also get different. You could shoot with, uh, bomb them with erasers. Or put up, um, the knobs from the oven. They're a little time explosions. And then you get upgrades as, you know, you progress. You could, uh, get better weapons different secondary and primary weapons, which makes the game fun, challenging, and it makes it pretty tough. Um, but yes, uh, this is uh, Oi Commander. Well, pick it up if you can find it. It's a great game to have. Uh, I can show off a little more. Um, it's the attic. Garage and tool room was a pretty cool one. You got the hallway mezzanine. There's so there's a lot with this game. You got quite a bit interaction and such. So guys, go out there, pick up this great little title for uh, the Dreamcast Toy Commander, right here. Great game to have. Great gem classic game fully 3d interactive environment like i showed you 35 different vehicles yes uh then you got 50 missions total deathmatch which i which is great and you know like i say be nice to your toys because they won't be nice to you back oh no this game will kick your ass the difficulty is high it is a very hard game to play, but it is fun, and it has a lot of replay value. And it has a nice little techno track, uh, too. Um, similar to a lot of the Dreamcast games of its day, but yeah, it's its own uniqueness to it. And um, I wish they kind of played off on some older songs, you know, just to toy in some Frank Sinatra in there sounding, you know. Just to bring it, reminisce a little more. But, they brought on, uh, this time around, a little technos track for the game. And, I think it's pretty good. Overall, this is a great title. I give this a 10 out of 10. Uh, very hard to find game, I might add. I've been searching uh, for this game again for many years. Um, I just, I, as I used to own this, I misplaced it. And, here it is in my hands once again never to be gone away but got four player co-op at uh four player action in the death mass mode one player missions pretty cool so check it out definitely toy commander it's where it's at listen to the bear and as for now as for the angry, ugly video game nerd, I'm signing off for today. I'll see you later. Peace.